yes so guys let's uh, discuss locomotion of a fin fish my name is mr kemel i'm a teacher of biology and chemistry yeah when we talk about locomotion we use the the fins and the bones the the, the, the organs in fish that are used for locomotion are the fins and uh, the bones or the bony structure that is why i have displayed the, the those features you can see different types of fins and you can see the bones that is just the skeleton the skeleton of a fish next let's discuss about the external structure of a fish external structure of a fish you can see the eye the nostril or the nose the mouth the gill cover which cover the gills and we call it operculum you can see the pelvic pin fin you can see the pectoral fin the anal fin the caudal fin and the dorsal fin the functions of different fins include the the dorsal fin is used for balance staying staying upright we have the caudal fin which is used for which is used for forward movement we have the anal fin which is also used for balance the pelvic fin used for steering and the pectoral fin used for steering too then lastly you can see we have the operculum or the gill cover which covers the gills preventing them from being destroyed by the water currents and the rays next we talk about the locomotion now in a fin fish and we say locomotion in a fin fish is brought about by the side to side movement of the tail locomotion or movement in a fish is brought about by the side to side movement of the tail or when the tail is moved sideways that is the one that brings about locomotion this is due to the relaxation and contraction of the antagonistic muscles on the right and the left sides of the tail and these groups of muscles are called myotomes so those muscles we say they contract and they relax antagonistically and by saying antagonistically we say when muscles on the right side of the tail relax those on the left side of the tail contract that is what we mean by saying that they relax and contract antagonistically the other thing we talk about movement of the tail on the side pushes water sideways and backwards so when that tail moves and those muscles contract antagonistically that one leads to moving of the water sideways and backwards and that is what leads to to forward rush or forward movement the backward push creates a forward reaction that pushes the fish forward the sideways push on the water creates a sideways reaction in the opposite direction that leads to what that tends to push the fish sideways this reaction is cancelled when the tail moves to the other side hence the tail movement propels the fish forward on a straight course that is why we've said the function of the tail fin is just movement or forward movement which you can term it as forward thrash adaptations of the fish to its locomotion how is the fish adapted to locomotion yes we've said that the fish locomotes that is moves from one point to another within the water bodies what makes that movement possible that is why we talk about the adaptations the adaptations number one it has streamlined a body it has a streamlined body and the reason as to why the body is streamlined is to reduce friction between the water and the fish hence reducing resistance to the flow in the water so the reason as to why the fish is streamlined is just to reduce the friction between the fish or the body of the fish and the water body number two it has scales that overlap backward and that also reduces friction enabling the fish to move in water with little drag because the, the scales are facing backward and they are overlapping so 
you find that water cannot enter the scales and that one reduces this the, the friction number three it has a lateral line the fish has got a lateral line and that lateral line is it is used for sensitivity it is used by the fish to sense danger within the water body so it acts as a sense organ detecting vibrations in the water and detecting changes in the pressure this enables the fish to respond suitably hence helps in escaping predators and strangers so that lateral line is basically used for sensitivity and that one is an adaptation used by the fish to reside or to live in the water Number next, it has an inflexible head. The head is inflexible. It cannot be moved anyhow. And this helps in maintaining a forward thrush. Number next, it has a swim bladder. And you find within the swim bladder, we have air. And that air is the one that enhances buoyancy, enables the fish to, to float, right? Yes, and also controls the position or the vertical position of the fish within the water so we say this is an air filled cavity which helps in maintaining buoyancy this enables the fish to adjust its vertical position in relation to the depth of the water that is why you find some fish floating on water they also decide other times to do what to go deep right Next, we say it has muscle blocks called myotomes and they contract and they relax, causing what we call undulating movement or anguilliform movement. Those muscles, when they contract and relax, they lead to that kind of movement. Number next, it has flexible backbone and a strong tail muscle, and those ones contract and relax, causing the tail to move sideways again in water. And when the tail moves sideways, that one leads to locomotion. Lastly, or the other point, we say it has muscles covering on the body surface. So we say the fish, the scales of the fish are covered by a layer of mucus. And that mucus reduces the friction between the water and the fish and also reduces evaporation of the water and entry of microorganisms into the body of the fish. That is another adaptation. Then we've talked about different types of fins. Now let's discuss the fins. Now we say the fish also had as paired fins and the paired fins is the pelvic and the pectoral fins and they are used for maintaining balance for braking, for changing direction, and they control pitching, right? They control pitching. They control how deep fish goes into the water when it plunges its head first into the water. That is pitching. It has an paired fins, that is the anal fin or the ventral fin, the dorsal fin and the caudal fin. Caudal fin is also called it the tail fin we said caudal fin is used for forward propulsion and steering dorsal and ventral fin is they prevent the fish from rolling and yawing what is rolling rolling is the turning of the body of the fish about its own axis and yawing is the lateral deflection of the body of fish during swimming that is the function of dorsal and ano or ventral fin they control rolling and yawing Yes, we have a question here where you can be told to describe our finned fish such as tilapia moves in water. You see movement of a finned fish in water is by swimming. Of course, that one we know. It involves forward movement and control of body position in water. We have mucus, scales overlapping backwards. Streamlined body or shape reduces friction to enhance forward movement. Mm -hmm. Forward propulsion is caused by the tail. The tail is long to create enough force for propulsion. Propulsion is achieved when the tail pushes sideways against the water. Mm -hmm. Sideways movement is brought about by the muscles arranged in segmental blocks, which call the myotomes, on both sides of the vertebral column we have called that one a williform uh, movement the muscles contract antagonistically antagonistically we said is alternative or when one contract the other muscles 
on the side of the body relax causing the fat vertebral column to swing sideways when the muscles on the right relax those on the left contract and the body bends to the left right when the muscles on the left relax those on the right contract and the body bends to the right that is what we call an agonistic movement next point we say the fish uses its fins to control the position of its body in water during forward movement the paired fins that is the pectoral fin and the pelvic fin lie flat on the sideways of the body to reduce friction to change direction the fish uses paired fins and the paired fins we've talked about the pelvic toro fin and the pectoral fin to, to change its level in water it also uses the paired fins to control pitching uses the paired fins and to prevent pitching it also uses the paired fins and the paired fins we've said they are the pectoral fin and the pelvic fin Next, we see the fish spreads out the pectoral fin and the pelvic fins at 90 degrees for breaking, right? It also uses its swim bladder to change its level in water, that is buoyancy. When the bladder is filled with air, the fish becomes lighter, making it to rise in water. Mm -hmm. The other point, we talk of when the air leaves the swim bladder, the fish becomes heavier and it sinks deeper into the water. Water currents may cause the sideways swaying of the body of the fish that is yawing. The dorsal, ventral and anal fin prevent the rolling and yawing of the fish in water. And that becomes the end of our lesson today on the locomotion in a finny fish. Thank you guys for listening. My name is Mr. Kimeu. See you in the next lesson.